take he it. is going against the Cowboys. Parsons is going to smack him in his big fucking head. Yeah. And then Diggs is the only Parsons person Parsons is to... straight garbage in coverage. So. And I said smack him. I didn't say cover him. Smack him in his big head. They're going to have Parsons on him. And then Diggs is going to lock it up. Welcome back, you degenerates, to the number one fantasy football podcast in the world. I finally get to see myself in the fucking face, and I get to see Billy right next to me. I didn't see him for the first Sunday in a long time. He's uh, he he left me. Yeah, I'm hurting. If you hear the the rasp of my voice, I was with Mr. Joe Green for his birthday. We went to the Raiders Giants game where he told me the Raiders would win. Therefore, That's I was awesome. decked. Out head to toe Raiders gear, turnover chain and all, <laughs> looking like that. an asshole for the Raiders to lose to a team that had their their leading receiver had 37 yards. That's how bad the Raiders are. It was brutal. How was you your really wore like one of those Miami like turnover? He, chains. he gave it to me. I, and I was like, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it was, oh, uh, I love the, the photo. Chat. I love the photo. Photo looks hard. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't fucking zoom in on your face. When Shout I out to your mom, Terry. Me, a great, great photographer. Picture looks great. <clears throat> Outside of that, I had fun. I got to be a real fan. It was nice. It felt when, good. Mi- when you're minusing money, it's always fun, right? Mm. Oh, oh, it's always fun. Let's not listen. talk about the bills. All right? Could be worse. Could be zero and nine in fantasy. Oh. Not me. <laughs> not me. Yes, you. Yes, you. <laughs> Free league. It's not a free league. I'm not paying. Yeah. <laughs> <You're already. laughs> anyway, let's let's uh, start this off. We have the bye week. We have the Bears, Giants, Bengals, and Tetsons this week. So, key note, do your wave wire. Do everything up. Don't leave your the people on buy on your uh, fucking starters. All right. So, next up, Billy's going to do the news. He's going to tell you all about OBJ and all, all that. All right. All right. If you didn't know, OBJ has been released by the Browns question is where is he going to go some of us have takes about it we'll save that for when we talk about the teams we think he has the chance to go um some people think the seahawks some think people think the packers some people think the raiders uh, you know there's plenty of options out there but um 32 options i'm confused by what you wrote here does someone take as a waiver wire ed like he should still be owned no, I'm saying if oh just in like if someone in the actual it, NFL when I wrote this, no one we I didn't know if someone picked him up at the waiver wire. No. Oh, <clears throat> oh, okay. As in like in the real NFL. Yeah, in the real. Okay. NFL. Just just not double us. checking you. I, thought I mean, it was I, like I, I'm not gonna lie, I got him on two waiver wire pickups in two of my leagues. That's like, very true. Fucking idiots, but um, Aaron Rodgers. Next up, real quick, he's a liar and he's a cheat. We won't get into it. Everybody knows what happened. You're a liar and you're a cheat. That's all we got to say about that. And Deshaun Jackson signs to the Vegas Raiders. I really like the signing. Uh, he's going to be able to take the top off the defense better than Henry Ruggs could. The problem is he's not really going to get the ball that much. <laughs> but it's actually funny because he's driving a convertible. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. No, I didn't even, it just popped in my head. <laughs> Henry Ruggs is driving a convertible. I said Deshaun Jackson takes the top off better. <laughs> Oh my god! What a fucking comment! Wow! <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. I'm just talking Fast about Deshaun fuck Jackson. Boy, Fast Fast fuck. fuck boy. Uh, Mike, why don't you hit us with some injuries here for us? Sammy smooches day to day with his bummed shoulder. Uh, Russell Wilson is cleared to come back. I know he's not injured. He's cleared to come back. David Montgomery was activated. He also played on Monday. Um, Trevor Lawrence. He has a bummed out ankle. I wouldn't be shocked if he's held out this week. No, he's gonna play. You think so? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Shout out play. to shout out to Joe for texting me mid game while we were at the Giants game. Text me. Trevor Lawrence is out. Bet's over. Bet is not it's over. It's true. It's over. Bet is back if on because he in, came back in the game and continued to play. Anyway. Well, that win was worthy of nine wins. That was yeah. what we agreed on. So I mean, technically, I won the bet. Yeah. So now you owe us. Win was worthy of nine bets. <laughs> it, Fine. The bet's over because he, he he got hurt. 
That's over. You got hurt. <laughs> I'll take it. That's fine. Right? <laughs> That's not over. I'm still getting my medium rare steak. Where? Medium rare steak. Medium, medium rare, rare steak. steak. Oh. Tua, uh, he has a rib slash finger fracture. He's probably out again. Uh, that's because he's a loser. No, I, I think <clears throat> there's a pretty a decent chance he plays this week. He was out last week. What's the difference between last week's fracture and this week's fracture? Well, we'll I guess we'll see tomorrow. It's a uh, middle finger. No, we should, we should right? It's middle finger. I'll look up today what, what the latest is on. Middle finger. <clears throat> Make sure he got all the way up his own butthole. <laughs> Fucking bum. Guy stinks. <laughs> uh, let's kick it off with some games, Mike. Thursday night, we have Ravens versus Dolphins. What are you thinking? You think Tua plays? It's a Thursday night game. Why would it? It's even on a short week. <laughs> right, that's not exactly why I just Against said it. Against right the Ravens. Back. Exactly was, why I just said it again. He was limited in practice today. Yeah, he was on the sidelines. What, did you throw with the right hand this time? <laughs> or was he running? I, I don't know. He's making progress. The swelling has gone down. It's hard to grab a football they, they without don't know. your middle finger. He's up in the air. He's 50-50. Hard to grip a football without your middle finger. Anyway, Gaskins three weeks continuing the you know blossom, twelve carries per game, in the last three games looking good. Also six catches last week. Yep. He's getting up there with catches, baby. But unfortunately, leads to no no rushing yards, no passing yards. Dog water can't go past ten yard yeah, line. He's the type of guy that's like you you're just gonna like. Put him in your line if you're going to pray that he does well. He's Because he's going to get the work. But it's like, will he actually play well? Like, you can get the work and just be dog shit. Like, you can get 20 carries for 35 yards. That's Stuff like that is possible. But, you know, every now and then he pops off and has a 30-point game. So, you yep. have to leave him in because he's getting the volume. As long as he's getting 10 points, you're, you're, you're kind of happy. He's a flex play. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hollywood Brown. Good call. Put some respect on my name. Not me. His name. He's fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Calm daddy. Um, He's continuing to be a top five wide receiver in this fantasy league this year. And I think we all are shocked over this. What? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is, I mean. The actual consistency for once? Yes. yes. Yeah. I think this year we, we really, we slept on, on. Wide receiver ones on teams that we didn't expect them to be wide receiver ones. Yeah, re- but in the league. But with Brown, it was like their run first team. But then I think once all the running backs went down, that kind of went out the window. Yeah. And who would have expected Lamar to develop into this like great pocket passer? I mean, he's great. Uh, I mean, well, he's a better pocket he's passer than, 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 than the last few years. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's like like we were we talk we're gonna talk later about Michael Pittman same same situation. Mm-hmm. It's a run heavy team. But you know they use, they've been throwing the ball more than they usually do, so it kind of is a surprise. Yep. Kick it off, Saints versus Titans. First Sunday game, Sunday game kick it off. We have a lot to talk about. Um, how the carry split between AP, the Nichols and uh, Freeman, yep. Freeman, Foreman, Foreman. Sorry, Foreman. They they look Jonathan the same. Foreman. They look the same. Yeah, former former Texans, great. Yes, but he was on the team last year and actually played good. He just Winning didn't make the yeah. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much – it was probably 30% mid-nickels and then spread out between AP and uh, F- F- uh, Foreman after that. Um, all quite looked like shit. All I mean, yeah, they, they were all bad. They're all horrible. Um, AP had a touchdown. I mean, he had <clears> 21 yards on 10, 10 carries. carries. It also was a terrible matchup. Yeah, it yeah. was. But this is this, this is, week is going to be another terrible matchup. Yeah. A- AP is my city league because you're just going to want to start him just because he did get ten carries. Yep. And you you're like, oh, well, he had the most carries. Yeah, you're he gonna fell think into it. the end zone. I think we should play him. It's a bad idea. I think if you do have to, if you have both AP and mid neutrals, I still think you have to play mid neutrals because he does have the catch. I mean, AP is not catching the ball. Yeah, I mean, I I was surprised that they. I don't know. Like, yeah, it was a bad matchup, but they wound up winning the game. But they were still, like, from where, like, in the end of the game, like, it looked like they were still throwing the ball. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's very strange. I'm really interested about Foreman. Foreman's the most talented guy there. So, I mean, coming out of college, he was super talented coming out of Texas. Um, Second-round pick. They thought he was going to be the the new 
the new thing in Tetsons. He was for um, about a day. Yeah. Um, Tore his Achilles, and then he was uh, gone for like three years. And couldn't get in shape. He likes to eat food like me. Yeah, He's a fat great. problem. I was, I was looking up Adrian Peterson's stats versus the Saints in his career. And I figured, you know, I, I don't know why I thought he killed them. He's absolutely terrible against the Saints. 21 carries, 32 yards, zero touchdowns. 19 carries, 87 yards, zero touchdowns. 10 carries, 60 yards, zero touchdowns. 4 carries, 6 yards, zero touchdowns. He's one outlier where he had 122 yards and three touchdowns. But um, That's because the Saints have had top five run defense like the last 15, 20 years. Mm-hmm. So. And if you see, how was his year when he played for them? Even worse. Yeah. Yeah, probably Got even cut. worse. But he, what did you think about uh, Trevor Simeon getting majority of the looks? Just the amount of looks. Eh? Uh, not the amount of throws he was throwing. It was amazing. Threw the ball 41 times. I think they had to against the Falcons, I think. They're trailing. Yeah. It's amazing. How, how are you trailing against the Falcons? Yeah, I, I don't understand. I think Falcons have definitely, I mean, they've scored on everyone so far. Yeah. Man, They're me, in the 20, 30 points every game. Me and Joe got out of the game, and we were shocked at all the scores. Because if you've been to a football game, there's a lot of people there. You know your phone doesn't really work too well. So you're not really getting great updates. So, like, sometimes you get the wrong ones. Like, oh, the Bills are losing to the Jaguars? Yeah, that can't be right. The The Broncos are beating the Cowboys? No, that can't be right. It's, there's, something, there's a glitch. There's a glitch. The, the Falcons are beating the Saints? No, nah, no, nah, that can't be true. It, it was wild. I, I, I feel like everything that happened last week just throw away. Mm-hmm. For me, like personally, like just every year we have one of these weeks where it's just like anything that was supposed to happen didn't happen. And we saw the most ridiculous thing like Trevor Simeon coming in and throwing the ball 41 times. Yeah. Um, we're, we're also at that point of the season, though, where teams have enough tape on you where they know what you like to do. So you they adjust. Now you have to readjust because like they know what to take away from what you like to do. Are you trying to say that's what happened to the Bills? <clears throat> I think partially, yeah. I think we're seeing the, the Chiefs effect happen to the Bills where they can't run the ball, so everyone's like, we're just going to play coverage rush three or four. But that's we'll get to that later. Yeah. I, 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 mean, was, the, just, I, I mean, was just the, asking because I, I, I'm still shocked. I mean, the Saints, I mean, it's pretty scripted. All you have to do is stop Kamara, and then you win. Yeah. Um, and that's Falcons didn't really stop them, but. The Saints have the worst receiving corn football. Is yeah. that like that's got to be fair to say? Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's the, now they're gonna be one of the worst QBs as starting. I'll take my white. My uh, white Joe after. loves Simeon. I love the Simeon. I think he's. I think he's just like. He's a respectable average. He's like the the QB on Browns, the backup. Oh, Case Keenum. Yeah, it's, love it's Case Keenum. <laughs> yeah, he's average. Twins. Nah, Case Keenum Safe. could be a starter on half the teams. No, no. half. That's a I, I think he's better than Daniel Jones. No, no, I'm not disrespecting yeah, Dan I'd, Jones. I'd actually start Jones. <laughs> and then we, we had this for debate sure on he's better I'll than Tua. <laughs> you know it's bad when he agrees. <laughs> yeah, when I agree, you know it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't want to hear a word he has to say. Uh, besides that, I mean. Yeah, like we, we said it all. If you can stop Kamara, then they have a chance. Titans defense has looked better over the past, past, excuse me, past few weeks. So uh, we'll see how that they hold up. Yeah. But besides that, nothing else. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not excited about any Saints player, besides Kamara. Are you excited about the Falcons versus Cowboys? I love Kyle Pitts. That's my statement. I love. Uh, <laughs> I love. I'm gonna love, love this game because it's gonna be offense, offense, and offense. Yeah. Falcons scoring 30 points almost every game. Cowboys almost the same thing except for last week they had a huge dud against. The Broncos. Kyle Pitts had a mediocre day last week. Seven targets, three catches, 62 yards. Not bad for a tight end. Yeah, sure. Not bad. Um, yeah, you know who he was better than? Your boy, Mike Williams. Just saying. Okay. Ridley, of course, we already know. Retired. He's out for a little bit. Don't know how long. Um, well, retired's not the correct term. Just, just want to put that out there. Unstable? I don't understand. <laughs> he's 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 taking some personal time off. Yeah. If he could do it, can I take no personal time from my job? I mean, technically, you, yeah, right? you can. Technically, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you definitely can. Yeah. The, you know what? I have to use my 114 uh, vacation hours. Net. Uh, what I have to say about this is Patterson. If he's not rushing the ball, he's catching the ball. Six times, six catches for 126 yards. 
I this, fucking hate this guy so much. Patterson's look is gonna look great against this Cowboys. Yeah, I think so. Because I don't think Cowboys can stop the run, and I don't think the Cowboys are gonna stop Patterson. This year is the biggest glitch. If you have three running backs and then Cordell Patterson, you throw him at wide receiver. If you have four running backs, it's just like your team's so unfair. Exactly. Yeah. I it's, it's I wrote ridiculous. I said if you somehow drafted even a some semi decent team and then you got Patterson, you won. Yeah. Imagine if you had Kelsey. <clears throat> I mean, I, yeah. I mean, it's still Kelsey's number one, right? Even though he has a yeah. sh- shitty year for him. And then you did good. Oh, yeah. You say so you drafted back to back running backs and got some great value. Like you took Pittman and you took, uh, you t- you could take Cooper Cup even... in the fourth. Yeah, right. Most, that's where Cooper <clears throat> Cup was going. You could have taken Kelsey. You could have taken Najee. You could have taken Daryl Henderson. Yeah. Ran it back with Cup, Pittman, and... You don't even need Patterson. You would have won. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even need Patterson, but say you picked that fucker up, you're fucking not enough. You you wouldn't even have to start your lineup. That, like, we don't... We haven't really talked about it that much, but that could have been a, a fucking regular lineup. Well, I would say shout-out to Billy, because he was the only one who said not to sell on Cordell Patterson when me and Mike were both pretty... I was shit! Out, we would have sold them. I would have sold them too. I would have sold them too. <clears throat> per- privately, but publicly, to tell the people the right information. <laughs> you know yeah. what you're selling? Galp right now because you should just drop him. Well, wait, was he active? I have no game? idea. It doesn't matter. I, he I was not. I, yeah, I was like, I don't think he even played. I don't know he what's wrong with him. Dak looked really bad. I, I was, I mean, yeah. On, I was reading like a few uh, guys who break down film. They said that was the worst game Dak's played probably in like three years. He wasn't ready. They should have <laughs> won with Cooper Rush, like Mike yeah. said. There was, um, <laughs> There was people on Twitter in the the Cowboys community saying that there's a debate whether to play Cooper Rush or <laughs> Dak, and I was like, guys, like, come on, what are we doing here now? Going forward, is it is this a QB controversy? Yeah. I said <laughs> their left tackle was out too. Yeah. So why did you start him? And he was banged up, he was and your shaky. left tackle was out. He just looks shaky. He hasn't rusty. He hasn't played in three weeks. And then after you have that huge fucking, after you're down by like fucking twenty one, you just fucking put the backup in. Why are you even risking the rest of the game? Well, I, he has to ru- get the rust off. <clears throat> like we it's said, not rust. He's injured. Like we've said a dozen times, we didn't really get, get to watch all the games. But um, what I will say is I heard that Zeke got hurt towards the end of the game, or towards the middle of the game, and then came back during garbage time when they had no chance at winning. Why? Hey, he got garbage points for fantasy owners, so that's great. But why would he come back? It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. I don't know. Something weird is going down, on down there in Dallas. You really think Kyle Pitts is going to have a day today? I do. I do. Not today, but Sunday? Yeah, I do. I do. It's just – he's ma- technically he's going to be matchup proof. I, it was just a – it was a strange game. Zacharias, what's his name? Diggs is going to have to line up. He's with. matchup proof now? Last week we were saying after Ridley retired – or <laughs> took his personal time. Listen, that I changed with. my mind. Am I going to change my <laughs> fucking opinion on something? Watch. I, I hope, can, I hope but... they have Parsons chipping at him and then Diggs covering him. Because that's exactly what they're going to have to well, do. Well, why – he wouldn't chip. He doesn't play I mean, on like, the inside. It, Zacharias I mean, he does had sometimes. fucking three touchdowns last week. Like, we didn't see that coming. You just don't chip him even when he, he – when he does the slot, he's, he's like only two yards off the, off the line. I just think he's great. So, and I don't, I, like I've been saying all year, there's going to be a regression for the Cowboys defense. There's going to be. Well, I don't even know if it's regression. They always gave up a lot of yards. It was the turnovers they were forcing. It's going to continue. It's going to continue to be bad, 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 bad for the Cowboys. Everything always goes back to the mean. <laughs> Tell you that. That's a fact. Well, that's why we saw the Bengals uh, look like shit the last three weeks. So. Yeah, well, that's why we thought. That's why we've seen uh, yeah, that, the that Chiefs was... look bad, and, and you know, Bengals lied to us all. <laughs> but the Browns, Browns, OBJ, oh. Liss Browns, dominating last mm-hmm. week. Yep. I wish the OBJ would news would have happened on Tuesday. And then we could have talked about it because I got to talk about it on Thursday when I did Ben Diagonal. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is a great spot for Baker. It's a great spot for the Browns to just blow up and show. It's like a, it's somewhat like a revenge game at that point. Like, hey, watch, OBJ. We don't need you. And I think that's going to continue to move forward throughout the season. But the Patriots, this is going to be a really good game to watch. If you like old school, run the ball down people's throat, defensive football, this is a game for you. I think, uh, 
Oh, go ahead. No, no I, was just, I was just gonna say these teams match up very well. I think for Baker though, we're this is remember last year. This is what they looked like without Odell because he missed mm -hmm. pretty much he the entire great. season. He looked great, and then yesterday, he even commented he was pretty good. Yeah, he said it. He said it in the post game. He's like, "We look like we were at the end of last year." And I love that Baker. I I'm telling you, this set a fire under Baker Mayfield. The yeah. OBJ, we trade him like a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I love I love Baker. I I said it last week. When we were talking about the Browns, I I think Baker's a great leader. I don't know how great of a quarterback he truly is, like as far as like his skill like ceiling goes. No, he's he's like he's he's definitely a more than capable quarterback, but like he's never gonna be a superstar. He's never gonna be top eight. But he knows how to lead a team. I love the fire. I, you know, I can't wait to watch this game. That's all I'm gonna say. You said that Chubb has is on the COVID list now. COVID list as of like, a couple minutes ago. He is vaccinated, though. Uh, Felton is... Is he uh, immunized or is he vaccinated? No, he's vaccinated. No, he's vaccinated. It's not like... <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, so he does have a chance to play. He has to be tested negative twice so on Saturday. So does Felton. Not that he matters. I was going to tell people to drop the Ernest Johnson, and then that news came out. I was like, oh, good thing. Yeah, I didn't say that. Good thing I only told three people that. When, when, is, <laughs> when is Hunt coming back? Can we have a... Um, probably next I week. I thought he was ready. I think it was three weeks. No, I think he's out a while. If I remember, some, some fucking some of you bitches are fucking commenting. Should I start hunt? What? Read the whole fucking news. Well, we, we are not a newspaper, ladies and gentlemen. I I mean I I don't know every fucking lock. I don't talk, call all their doctors. Listen, they I call some of their doctors. They expect us to know it all. No, um, no, he's supposed to be out four to six weeks. I thought I remember this. So they don't expect him back yet. Uh, think you're probably looking at another week or two they're probably not going to rush him back with dearness johnson behind him but yep. how are we supposed to know it all i i don't know that we're supposed to but people uh, expect it. we're not question. doctors we're i'll idiots. say that i, I am a doctor i have football. a phd in a lot of things and guess what it's fantasy football and i don't know every fucking player's injury history yeah he's a phd a pretty huge dumbass <laughs> <laughs> it's not much <laughs> just making it day by day <laughs> just getting by day by day <laughs> my number one wave wire pickup is gonna be people jones i like that especially this week um going into kind of like a a bad wave wire pickup um it's quiet week it's quiet De not a lot bad. of injuries there's not a lot of people <clears throat> on you know the wave wire people jones is going to be into my number one i think he's going to continue i think five to seven yards per game is looking like five the favor seven yards i mean five or seven catches oh, targets five, five or seven like, yards jesus sorry five or seven targets Yikes. and he's gonna be the pl big play down the field um i think he's ahead of higgins already and after that there's nobody really else they're, they're, they're gonna do double tight ends and running the ball most of the time so austin hooper yeah no <laughs> big hoop what happened to my boy harrison he just like died he's staying yeah i don't even yeah i don't even see him on there uh, People Jones has 18 targets on the season. That is seventh on the team. Just saying. Uh -oh. Didn't mean to sit on you. I, I'm but. telling you, going uh -oh. forward. Yeah, I, I, I'm just saying as of right now. That's it. I'm See, just looking up the stats. This is why he loses in fantasy because he doesn't have a bench. I won the championship last year. I will say this? this is a new championship year. or not. You lost to the worst player in history <laughs> of our league. Uh, you were the first win he's had in what almost two full seasons? No, he won. He won two games last year. <laughs> yeah, but when? And they were in the beginning. <laughs> it might have been you. No, he, he and beat, one was you, and one was no, me. No, 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 it's not me. He beat Jesse. He beat Jesse once. I don't know who the other. He one beat was. me in oh, the first same. week. He beat you and Jesse. He then. beat me week one. Tough. Ooh. Yeah, well, tough, tough. <sighs> you wrote today in the well. Joe Dream made a uh, beautiful, beautiful graph guard about dropping the Myers. Can you tell me why? Jacoby? Yeah, he doesn't see any touchdowns, and he barely is getting enough yards and receptions a game to even be considered a play. I I'm mean, just, how are you playing that? Just telling you. Just asking. Yeah, no, I, I just don't think he's – I mean, all right, I guess I'm exaggeratingly saying he's droppable, but these are players that you're just never – He's like a waiver wire ad slash drop. Like, he's not a necessity to own. No. I think he's a bye week player. Right. That's that's probably a fair assessment. Mm -hmm. How do we should, I think we should have a list of a bi-week player. Well, that's why I put the stream list out yeah, every week. Yeah, sure. But 
I'm thinking he's been playing the NFL for three years and doesn't have a single touchdown. That is absurd. It's embarrassing. Does he have a rushing touchdown or a passing touchdown? Do you th- I'm pretty sure he has a passing touchdown. I'll check. Do you think either one of you would be, would be able to have a receiving touchdown if you're in the NFL after three seasons? I'll moss you so fucking quick. It's not even funny. <laughs> if they threw it to me, like... The amount of times they threw not it to him. him. I've, I've seen him play football in, in real life. And he can, he has no hands. I threw a football over no a dozen hands. times. I've seen him play football in real life. I'll lay his ass out. You you lay your I, ass I out, stink. too. I'm terrible at football. I'll tell you that right now. I don't even think you'd fucking... I can't throw a football. You know what he can do with those cheats? <laughs> oh, here we go. He oh, can cheer me on, baby, when I get that <laughs> touchdown. That's funny. Here we go. Oh, why are you so That's flat over there? Oh, fuck. And Mike pulls out the... I and just now just he's hold gonna, it. Just now hold he's got to hold it for hold another it. 35 yeah, minutes 35 minimum. minutes. I'm saying it to y'all. <laughs> why don't that's, you, he's, that's because I'm he's playing a with PhD the mic. and can't figure out how to I'm do it I'm playing with this talking. black thing. I don't know why. Jesus. Um, Anyway. That's racist. <laughs> no, it's not racist. It's black. It's a mic. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Let's move on, Mike. Let's go to the Bills, a.k.a. the team that broke my heart this weekend against the Jets, a team who will probably break my heart this weekend. Uh, you think Mike White's going to be the starter? I know Mike White is the starter. I think so, too. I don't know why you really wrote that. Why don't you fix your mic while we just... Yeah, so I like I Whoa. took over the next yeah, one. Yeah, just, just fix the mic. No, like, I think this looks good. No, I I don't it think It would that... look good if you were just holding it and not holding the whole shaft. <laughs> What are I holding? <laughs> I'm not repeating it. <laughs> See, like, I don't even know where it went. Oh, my God. We need an assistant here to manage. Somebody all help. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, he, no, I think it's broken, broken. It's not broken. It's it broken, in. broken. I know it does. Uh, Mike White, a.k.a. Tom Brady 2.0, will Oof. be back for a full game. He's starting. Yeah, he's, he's going to be starting. Uh, I kind of like Michael Carter. I don't. Not against his team, but in going forward, yes. because Mike White is going to be the starter from here on out. No, no. I'm yes, sorry, yes, 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 yes. Zach Wilson is. Dead. I bet. I'll, I'll, I'm telling you right I'm now. I'm not making that. I bet will cause bet I'm, you. Because I want it to happen. Therefore, I'm speaking into existence. Okay. Mike White That's is fine. better than Zach Wilson. But don't don't say don't say things that are not true. I can say my opinion on this show. As much as my show, it is your show, Mike. Yeah. It's actually probably more on my show because at least I can keep a microphone on the table. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Tell me how you could hold this thing. I do it all the time. And twist I... another thing. This well. You you could have put it down and just fixed it, and and, and then it would have been quicker. Than I got to talk to my people, though. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, Michael Carter, five straight weeks and 10, 10 plus fantasy points. Like we did say, it is going against the Bills, who, yes, they may have lost to the Jaguars this week, but they still have a top five run defense, and they will still – Cause trouble against Michael Carter. Yeah, but I don't think that matters with him because he's so heavily used in the passing game. Yeah, right. But they've just been good at defense all around. Yeah, I, I think Bills just gonna <clears throat> figure it out. The Bills defense Michael wasn't Carter. the problem last week. No, I, I'm Absolutely not saying it not. was, no. but I, th- I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm not too worried about Carter even in these bad matchups. Actually, a lot of times when the receiving backs have a tough. You know, play against our good yeah. rush defense. I actually like that because then I know they're going to get a ton of opportunities in the passing game. Yeah, Mike White is a stud. <laughs> Tom Brady 2.0. I like Mike White. Best. He's solid. Probably. <laughs> Speaking of Tom Brady, I shall save it for when we talk about Tom Brady. Did he oh, just boy. went completely like psycho. Oh, no. I just. <laughs> just Did you see that? He's so just quick from this weekend. He's just like, when someone has a lot, like. So I'm just click from this weekend that, that somebody <laughs> said that? about Tom Brady, and now I, it has to be said on the show. All right, we'll get to so, that later. Yeah, we'll get to it later. Outside of Michael Carter, Mike White, are you were really worried about the Bills' offense, or are you just uh, think not against the Jets? They just lost May as well, so you think just a couple bad games? No, to- I think the I think uh, Joe Green is right. I think people are figuring out how, how to play the Bills what because I mean. I mean that's facts, but do you think I the think Jets the Jets are just so it? bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, I, I'm on the same same <clears throat> mindset of that. Right. That's what we kind of mentioned with the Chiefs. It's just going to come down to like the teams they play if they have the personnel. Yeah. You, like you could have the scheme, but if you don't have the personnel. You're not going to be able to stop them. Yeah. All right. I was just 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 curious about if you thought the uh, Jets would be able to stop them, possibly get a win against the Bills. No, but I would really consider selling Stephon Diggs. Like <laughs> we're at that point where it's like. 
can't, I, I just can't do it. Maybe you should face. buy him low. Maybe I should. Why would I buy him low? I have three top five, top fifteen wide receivers on my uh, team. I'd rather have double, double points, but that's just me. I do with this uh, Dawson Knox, who's my backup tight end. He can't have both Tyree Kill and Stephon Diggs playing on uh, not so great situations. Yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad enough. Um, besides that, I really have. I I don't hate trying to sell Stephon Diggs. I really don't. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I couldn't do it to myself. Is Dawson Knox back yet? He was supposed to be uh, back last back week, week, and he they wound up just not playing him because it was supposed to be an, an <laughs> easy win. matchup. Win, yeah, it was supposed to be a free win, and they that's what they said. They said he could have went last week, but they chose to keep him out. So this week he should be back, and uh, I, they could pull the same shit and be like, well, you know, he could have played if he had to. This should be an easy win as well. <laughs> yeah, and then here we go again, and then mm. he doesn't play, and they lose There's again. There's no Manning curse this time, though. So. Stop with the fucking It's true. It's, it's true. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's proven. The Jazz vs. Colts is next. T-Law banged up. All right. Yeah. Robson's coming back. That wasn't in our injury report. Pittman, huge year. Currently wide receiver seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. All yeah, right. I, was, I was wrong on who, who was going to be the wide receiver for the Colts. So I wrote about Paris Campbell till I was dead in the brain this 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 uh this off season, and I was just wrong on who it would be, but uh, I was right on the situation, so I'll give myself half of a credit, <laughs> half a gold star, half a gold star, half a cookie. I'm shocked the Colts aren't featured more in the tight end. Like they don't have a tight end that's featured. Well, Jack of- Doyle stinks. Yeah, a lot of people thought it'd be Jack Doyle. And then Mo Ali Cox steals a lot of touchdowns. Yeah, when I, unless if whenever I play him in DFS and he does <laughs> dick, doesn't even get a target. So he's Mo Mo Ali Cox. <laughs> um, I had a question about the Jaguars. If people still own Lavisca Chanel, should you still own him? No, just checking. No. I just, posted last week. He was just okay. completely dropped. Just because I. I know I've been trying to get rid of him for weeks and nobody wanted him. I'd actually, believe it or not, if there was any receiver I might start to buy on, it's Jamal Agnew. And <laughs> this guy's I, yeah. story is so funny. He learned how to play wide receiver in the offseason by watching YouTube videos. Like, that's fucking hilarious. But he's he's seeing a lot of work lately. I, I'm i surprised they don't use him as, like, uh, in a running back position more. They play him in yeah. the backfield, but they don't rush him at all. Yeah, that's Urban Meyer, not... Using I'm surprised best they don't use Chenault as uh, Percy Harvin after what's his name mm-hmm. died. Uh, not died, you know, got hurt. Oh, ETN. Um, ETN. Yeah, he you literally played running back and right receiver in at uh, Colorado. Yeah, it's embarrassing. He had the most forced fumbles, like forced tackles in college. I'm. I don't understand. You need broken tackles. Yeah. So first you have forced fumbles, yeah. <laughs> forced tackles. I mean, doing both. I also really like Dan Arnold. He's this is Dan Arnold curse, dude. No, nah, like he. Uh, yeah, wait, I'm not did, wait, did you play Dan Arnold. Dan Arnold this week against Jared? No, I have uh, Travis Kelsey. Oh. Yes. I think Dan Arnold next year will be good. <laughs> I think this year he's a streamable every week. Like yeah, he's definitely streamable because he seven targets, ten targets, five, eight. Like, but then he, he gets the two. I, yo, that was his first game. He had two, and then he had. A, I mean, he's he's their only right. other receiving option. I mean, I'm not happy with anybody on that team. No, I'm not either, but if you're really desperate. Yeah. Jad Strimble defense now? Questionable? <laughs> Stop. Get the fuck out of here. I'm just asking. Which As a Bills you fan. You want to punch in the throat? <laughs> As a Bills fan. <laughs> <laughs> As punch a in Bills throat. fan are the Jags. <laughs> He's, she the fuck says. out of my face with this! <laughs> I don't need this. I have to do a whole episode tomorrow about me. How about how about how bad I am at gambling? Yeah, I don't I need just, it on this show too. Trust me, you text me daily about this. Lions versus <laughs> Steelers. Talk uh, about streaming tight end. We already know OBJ is not going to the Lions. Per the coach. <laughs> per the coach. He don't He's want like uh, nah. Um, Hodgson three weeks, ten targets. Three weeks of ten targets, two touchdowns, only two touchdowns on a year, or he would have a, he'd be RB, he'd be probably tight end one. Could be, could have been, would have been, should have been, but he can't find the end zone. Yeah, 
The other great tight end on the opposite side, Firemuth. Three touchdowns. Patty Moon. In the last two weeks. Three weeks of seven targets. I predicted that before the game. I predicted that before the season. And guess what? I'm going to predict it again. I can't say. I'm going to predict it again. Four weeks of seven targets in a row. I, I, I think so, too. I really love that pick. And uh, I've been trying to avoid copying you when it comes to studs and duds, so I didn't do it. I had that in my head. I didn't think he'd go off uh, against the, the Bears. So I was going to use him for this spot. Yep. But uh, there it is. I told you guys what Mike Tomlin does in the preseason. It will come out during the regular season. And we've seen it time and time again now. Patty, Pat Muth. Mr. Muth himself. Fire Muth. Fire Muth. Whatever you want to call him because he's on fire. He is a red zone machine. He's everything Eric Ebron wishes he could have been. He, <laughs> as he's laughing because it's true, guys. It, it was too simple. Eric Ebron, e- revenge game right here. Eric Ebron's not playing. I know. Yeah, he's, he's out. Not, he's he's done out. So. He retired. <laughs> he's taking personal time. He's he's done so. Um, he thought maybe if he stays on the sideline, he could play as a coach. For, yeah, I mean, he'd yeah. be a coach one day. Yep. I told you guys he'd be a top twelve tight end, and uh, Joe laughed at me. And then you said, who the fuck is Pat Fryermuth? I always knew who Pat Fryermuth was. I just can't I, pronounce his name. I laughed because you were so big on the Vance. Uh, Vance oh, Williams. you thought it was Vance 2.0, <laughs> no, no, huh? McDon- What was it? Vance, Vance, Vance McDonald. Vance McDonald. Thing that uh, I was like, I can't take this serious again. <laughs> this this is for real. I gave you the stats to back it up. I didn't just tell you, oh, we have one big stiff arm. I added in the fact <laughs> that they compared his stiff arm to Vance McDonald's stiff arm in the draft. <laughs> that's a that's a put me over the top. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, I think we really should be talking about when does David Blau start for the Lions? Ew, <laughs> ew. <laughs> you know he, it's gonna happen at some point. Yeah, but this like season. me and Mike can't say anything because he won his money last year. Yeah, no, no, he, he, he he's <laughs> yeah. a Hall of Famer in my eyes. Yeah, he, Thanksgiving, he, he, great. Thanksgiving great. Thanksgiving parlay great. <laughs> That's know? when he gets to start. Thanksgiving Day, <laughs> David Blow, so. he's coming. <laughs> it's a lock. My eyes are wide open. It's a guarantee win. Guarantee win if Blow is in a fucking Thanksgiving game. Oh God. We freaked out that morning. <laughs> David Blau. David Blau. Who the fuck is this guy? Mike's like, trust it. Just go trust with it. it. Trust it. <laughs> Outside Those of that. Those who don't know, I'm three. I mean, four for four in years in full game parlays on Thanksgiving. Yep. You have to know by that time. I'm going to post it this year on Twitter. Four for four. That that day. I can't. Like, yeah, yeah. Because I did yeah. it on. We said it on the podcast. Like that, that, that Wednesday, Thursday, whenever it was. Probably the Wednesday. Cause I mean, the Thursday Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> thinking in my head because I'm so normally uh, normally record on Thursdays. Uh, so you used to fuck up. <laughs> no, it's all about for a betting diagonal. Oh. So I put I put it up there, and then like Thursday morning, Mike texts me. He changed it. I'm like, well, you can't fucking change the parlay. Just set it on the show. Like, just do it. And it hit. So four for four. Outside of that, all else. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a winning day in his life. <laughs> Um, you kind of know what you're getting for the Steelers offense. You're going to get a lot of Najee, a lot of, Johnson, a lot of Deontay, and you're going to get a little bit of Muth. A <laughs> little bit of Muth. Muth. A little bit of Muth in my life. Vikings versus Chargers. These are, I feel like this team is very – both of these teams are very similar in the offensive game. I mean, we have Coates. We have Eckler. I mean, we have Cousins. And, you know, we have Herb, which looked like shit lately, I think. I just don't want – I first, didn't you say that Justin Herbert was going to win the MVP? I thought he was. Okay. Five, uh, five games now, in. now, just to be clear, you're comparing him to Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I think yeah. – I mean, yeah. Kirk Cousins might win the MVP at this rate. <laughs> There's someone on Twitter. Okay. I just wanted to double check that's where we're going. There's someone on Twitter who measures people on the Kirk Cousins scale. They have like a rating system and everything. Like it looked fascinating. I, I need to go and look into that again. Yeah. But that was it was great. I don't hate that because Kirk Cousins is like the most <laughs> average quarterback. Right. So, so like he's very efficient I, and he's very accurate. He's always like above sixty percent completion percentage. 
Oh, he's got like over 3,000 yards. Oh, he's got like 22 touchdowns. But he's never like throwing 20 interceptions. It's like perfect medium. It was a fascinating stat. Imagine <clears throat> if Cousins was on the Redskins. He'd be terrible. On the who? I mean, uh, the, the on, football on the Washington football team. Football. <laughs> he'd be he'd be out of the league. You think so? I don't, I, I don't know. No, I wasn't a big Cousins guy when he was on Washington. There was a lot of stat padding involved when he was there. So what's his excuse now? Why he can't win? He he just because Mike Zimmer good. stinks. I mean, they have no defense, but yeah, but he can't win big games. All this prime time. You know who can play big? Adam Thielen. Sits of eight for touchdowns. Okay, so touchdown every week besides two weeks. Touchdown dependable very much. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. I think the thing with Thielen is I don't think he's performed well. Like he no, may, he's not. But yeah. he, how you gonna how you gonna sit someone that's gonna touchdown every game? He's one of those guys that you're not exactly happy that you're gonna start him, but you just leave him in there. Yeah, you just leave him in there. You shut the fuck up. I mean, he's gonna score a touchdown. Touchdown guaranteed. Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. You touch down. <laughs> touchdown. I, I don't I want to see his stats on the I feel like he's just been a disappointment, but I could be wrong. Touchdown. <laughs> he had two catches for six yards and a touchdown. So, so what is that? Eight fantasy points? That's touchdown. Look at all his stats. They're very similar. Yeah, like 40 I wish yards. I would have had him this He has week. like forty yard like eight catches, forty yards, touchdown. Touchdown. Six, <laughs> six catches, thirty nine yards, touchdown. <laughs> Three catches for you, six yards, touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> it's, it's every week. That's what you're looking for is consistency. Yeah, There's some I'd, players I'd, you just need consistency from. <clears throat> I would rather him get the eight, nine receptions a game than the touchdown for 30 yards. <laughs> eight, nine receptions this for is, 45 This is what yards? happens when Irv, Smith's no. ju- uh, Irv Smith Jr. gets hurt. Five of those were his. What, the touchdowns? Yeah, touchdowns. Why are they? Why were five of them Irv Smiths? None of them I'm were I'm just debated by a half. <laughs> you just the half. You only have seven. So that's yeah, but he's gonna get ten. In, in what a kind of weeks. math is this? In a couple weeks. That's quick seven. maths. Two plus two is five. Quick, quick, quick maths. Mike's maths. I'm telling you, it's welcome to Mike's math corners. So, so all right. So you're saying if he finishes with ten touchdowns, which I'm pretty sure he's on pace to finish with more than that, he's he, he fifteen. Would. So that's not halves. <laughs> what is that? Would be seven. <laughs> This is trigonometry. <laughs> but he has, he has free two, calc. He has is two, this a triangle? Wait, wait. <laughs> he has two touchdowns. He has two touchdowns in uh, week one. What does that have to do with the math? So if it's half, so it's it's not every week, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't. See, and you here we are thinking this is gonna be a bad episode. None of us watch. He has eight oh, touchdowns. God. So all right, you want to say you want me to say four and not five? <laughs> what are we even? Okay, so if he's anymore? projected to get. More than ten touchdowns. It would be more than five, not less than five. <laughs> yeah, you are aware of that, right? You lost me. Oh God. He has how many touchdowns this year? Seven. Seven, and we're exactly halfway through the season. He is nine weeks, I believe. Yeah, so we're exactly halfway through the season. And he has seven. So you double that. That yeah. means he's on pace for fourteen touchdowns. So seven. Yeah, so seven, not four. Quick math. Or five. Quick maths. Mike's math scorners. Hate to see it. I can't believe you guys make fun of me like this. Like this. Would you bring it to yourself? You bring it to yourself. I don't know where you came up with that math. Yeah, what, what we're trying to say, boys and girls, <laughs> is he's touchdown dependable. Dependable. Shout out to the guy who tried to chirp me for using the word dependable on uh, Instagram. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> How about Mike Williams? He's well, just, he stinks. It, if this happened? is not a game that he bounces back, I'm cutting him. <laughs> I love oh, so, so the best was... Uh, boy. About, what Before was it? you do that, talk to me. No, but the best was, what was it, Mike? We made that Robinson deal like two, three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And in that, you go, you know, I think Mike Williams might be one of the best keepers yep, in our league. Not no more. And <laughs> now, ever since you said that, he's been so bad. Mike's been having bad juju. I don't know what yep. it is. It, he went from a, one of the best keepers in our league. He's 11, he was drafted 11th round. He was around right receiver two or three at that point. Yeah. Downhill. Yeah. Since he got hurt, <laughs> downhill. Like, first it was Sam Darnold, now it's Mike Williams. Second, Mike says something real positive about somebody. Well, yeah. is it is it – you think it's the injury lingering or is it – because, I mean, he's only seen five targets each of the last three weeks, so 15 total. But he's had exactly two catches in those games. <laughs> in those games, right. At least this past week he had a 49-yard long yeah. pass. Like, he caught one. But the other one was like three yards, something like that. Uh, Well, nine. I guess we're 
doing math here, but I, I don't. Well, have he was the getting nine. Me, he was getting JK. seven to nine, ca- uh, <laughs> seven to nine targets per game. He had and, a game with sixteen targets. Yes, and now it's down to five a game. And it's like, that fucking thief, Allen. <laughs> that thief, Allen. <laughs> that thief. Yeah, you mean the guy who's had at least a hundred receptions every year? <laughs> that, I water him so bad. Damn thousand, thief. Nine hundred yards past eight, six, seven seasons. If anyone's a thief, it's this guy, Steven Anderson. Why is he getting four yeah. targets a game? Yeah, Steven Anderson and what's his name, Parkham. You know, they've been leading leading the team. Yeah, Par- Parkham, was Parkham like thir- Jr. <laughs> Parkham was like a third-round pick, I think. Yeah. And I, I, hate, I hate wide receivers that wear like those baggy – the baggy lawn sleeves. I don't. I don't know why that came in my head, but it, he's one of those. So does doesn't Keenan, Keenan Allen, Allen does too? Do? Yeah. Does he? Yeah, he does. Oh, so fucking. He hides weird. his tattoos. I'm fine, but wear the wear the tight one. He doesn't want to. He likes to let he likes it to let it breathe. Uh, uh, Steve Smith uh, on the Giants used to do that. I used to hate it. On a scale of uh, one to ten, how concerned are you with Mike Williams? Ten. You're ten. You're panicking. They're not even featuring him. In, why are they not featuring him in the end zone? <clears throat> Because he's not an end zone guy. I feel like he's a guy who plays in between the 20s. Yeah. It's, uh, what do you mean he wasn't featuring? He had, a, he had a ton of touchdowns. Yeah, but that might featured. be from jump bombs. Ball. Just No, they were, I watched the games. They're just from jump they, balls. They, te- they usually Calvin Johnson use, post. But that's not what they use him as. But that's what they did in the first three games, four games. They use him like that maybe once. I've watched the games. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of fade touchdowns. No. You might be right because I don't watch a ton of Charger games, but – I feel like he's usually good for the bomb. Yeah, he's, he is he's there a bomb too, guy. But they're not featuring him in anything. Nothing. Not a, still lingering injury. I'm not I'm not a ten. I'm not a ten. I own him in one league, I'm not a ten. Given it's a dynasty league, so I have more more time to decide what I want to do, but no, I don't think so. It's more like a seven. I mean I am on. worried though. Let's be let's be true. I mean he's going against the Vikings this week. He should have a fucking day. He better have a day. He should have a fucking day. Are you he, putting him in your starting lineup? He is in my starting lineup. So I'm asking you this week. Yeah, yeah. I don't, there's not a better. Okay. All right, let's move on. Panthers versus Cardinals. James Conner, the touchdown vulture. No, touchdown it's not king. Even vulture anymore. Well, not not this king. week, but like he's just. Uh, this is, I, is exactly what I said was going to happen. Yeah. You guys true. like I don't understand why you have James Conner ranked so high. I'm like, God, well, guy just scores touchdowns. That's all he does. I thought Chase Edmonds was just going to be yeah. more catches out of the backfield. Can't stay healthy. Well, it's been like that for his whole career. Why yeah. are we shocked now? I mean, either either can James Conner, but he stayed pretty healthy this year. He is, and now Willie, he's he's now looking Willie. really good though. Like as a start, I mean, obviously he's coming off forty point week, but he, I mean, if he's getting a full workload, like you're talking about a top fifteen that's, running. That's back. how you know last week was. Ass backwards. James <laughs> yeah. Conner, forty fantasy points. It was, he hasn't done that since like his first game with the Steelers. I feel like if he ever has done that. Yeah. Um, is RB one going forward? Like this might be a little tough matchup. <clears throat> Panthers, like yes, they've been bad, but the run defense still has been good. That's the only good thing about this team. They still have been shutting running backs down. The Panthers, we're talking about. Yeah, the Panthers going against. James Conner. Yeah. Right. I just want to. Just, just, yeah. I'm, just, I'm highlighting it for the people. I thought that was pretty clear. Uh, is Kyler going to play? Yes. Um, That's tough to say. They don't know. <laughs> like the coach literally said, I don't know. Yeah. Well, they uh, should hold them out, but that's just me. Yeah. Especially um, if Donald doesn't play, I just hold him out. He's Sam Darnold's gonna play, and they're gonna give him one last chance, and then they'll probably bench him after this one. Walker time. It's gonna be soon. I wouldn't be surprised to pick up OBJ. Did you see? Um, play, make him play quarterback. Did you see Robbie Anderson curse out Sam Darnold on the sideline? I didn't see it. He said, "You fucking idiot," or something like that. He's like, "Get your shit together," and Sam Darnold just walked away. Like, okay. <laughs> Sam Darnold's a bitch. <laughs> Ever since Mike had to go ahead and pick him up. Sam Jones been a bitch. He had that that he, he got that Tua week. syndrome. He had that huge <clears throat> week. Yeah, and I dropped him. Yeah, well, that's your fault. I blame it all on you, Mike. CMC. Yeah, I, I think saw him. Yeah, he had what thirteen carries, something like that. He got worked in a little bit. Yeah, yeah I think he's be full go this week. 
I think if uh, Sam Darn wants to save his job, he he's gonna give him, him. He's gonna give him double digit targets. I'd consider just moving him, just because he keeps getting hurt. Like after this game. I don't even know if after this game, like if well, someone, they can't. If I mean, someone trade the lines already passed. So no, no, no. Like <clears throat> in fantasy, I'd consider oh. moving him because he's back. He played a game. Who knows if he'll stay healthy? He's gotten hurt a lot lately. But like, might as well get something good for him. He can win you the league. He could. It's a risk yeah. you got to be willing don't to take. Don't look at me. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> like, I don't want him. I'm not. I'm not giving up with with some, somebody that wants for him. You don't say his name. Yeah, he wants multiple first round picks for a guy who's hurt all the time. Eagles versus Broncos. Eagles versus Broncos. I was gonna ask you. You still holding on to DJ Moore before we go into that? What are you holding on? You're not gonna drop him. You can try to try to move him. I'd move. I I mean, I'd move him too. You would like to move him after a good game, but I don't think it's gonna happen against the Cardinals. I don't. I don't yeah. think he's ever gonna have a good game again if Sam Darnold stays the quarterback. I said, what are you going to move him for? Uh, I, you know, like a package deal. Just get him out of there. I'm about to look at his game log. It's It's, it's been bad. I'm, I'm looking bad. it up right now. Zero touchdowns since week four against Dallas. Yikes. Not Sad. great. He hasn't had more than 15 fantasy points in a game. 13? 13 fantasy points in a game. I don't love that. It's funny because we compared Darnold and Allen – uh, Darnold and more to Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. Who did? We did. That was rough. Who? All of us? Uh, we said they're comparable. This they're this year's Josh Allen and um, Stephon Diggs. Not not a great take from us. We all said that. Well, yeah, yeah. We, yeah said, we all said that. We we, we kind of were like, yeah. They, they I'm pretty sure hostile. you're the one. That you, you were actually the one who did initiate so, it. So I don't want to put blame <laughs> on you guys. I know I said it. <laughs> no, 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 he he. Whoa. No, I know I he said it. He said whoa. whoa. I said, who said that? First, we, he wanted to see if we remembered who yeah, started it, yeah. and after <laughs> and afterwards, when we remembered, he's like, oh, yeah, I, I was exactly. just making sure I knew, you knew. Well, I, I knew who said it all the time. I'm like, yeah, who who said that? Not a great take. Make sure not everybody knew. I would wait till week eleven to uh, pass them off. Uh, Dance Washington. I think it's too late. It might be too late. <clears throat> he might, no, he you might, can pass them off right be before the. Droppable by then, bud. You didn't have a bad week, and then you have an awesome week. And then you're going to sell somebody that on week 12 that he's doing against Miami. And then on week 14, he goes against Atlanta. That's what you're going to sell someone on. You're going to try to trade someone on week 14? You can't no, you're trade trading, you're trading, oh, you're trading like in the idea that he in will the, have a great yes. game off of a good yes. game. I got you. Now we can move on. I just wanted to. I, I got to tra- tell you guys how to fucking bargain. You guys. You got to tell me how to bargain. I just won't trade with you. You're a psychopath. <laughs> Eagles versus Broncos. You'll never leave anybody alone. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Devontae Smith he has to be the guy 15 to fi- 12 to 15 times per game. Just facts. Yeah. That was a terrible iteration of what was written on that page. But yeah, I, know. I didn't write it. That's why I um, didn't say it. So yeah. No, he's got to be the guy. He's got to be the feature guy. There shouldn't be a question whether he will be the feature guy every week. He should just be like an automatic. 12 targets a game kind of guy. I think they – exactly what you said. I think they – off of that, they should be playing Watkins deep. That, I, it's it's yeah. pretty simple. Yeah, it's like that offense could run great. They have the pieces. They just have a shit coach. It's really simple. You know what you're going to do? You're going to run the ball with Howard 20 times a game. <laughs> you're starting to. And then you're going to – wild. You're going to continue the to throw the ball to Devontae Smith almost the majority of the time. And then eventually the – the run game is going to play off the pass, and you're going to play action to Watkins deep for a touchdown. Yep. It's pretty simple. Yep. I guess coming from a Giants fan, I hope you lose every game. Yeah. No, I, I don't disagree. I'm just saying, get the ball to playmakers. That's what you got to do. And I told you last week, Howard, touchdowns, touchdowns, touchdowns. 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 I mean, he had touchdowns. eight touchdowns. We just call this episode touchdowns. touchdowns. But that that's guy. three touchdowns in, in two games. <clears throat> How about Kenneth Gainwell uh, vultering one? There's a, why, there's a reason why I picked up Howard. But what does that have to do with Gainwell? Gainwell's fucking gaining nothing. I mean, no, I'm saying he's vultured one touchdown. Listen, I'm not that worried. He's <laughs> I know, not I'm getting just... 17 carries. Hey, listen, I ain't that worried. He got two carries with three yards. I'm yeah. just saying, he vultured one. Are you even want to vulture if you, they both had a touchdown? I mean, like, yeah, I know. But Boston Scott didn't have one. 
Boston Scott stinks. He didn't He's even play that two. much. He didn't even play that much. Thank Gary's forty yards. Right Thank now. God, Boston Scott's not a thing. Howard's gonna be a thing. I'm telling you, he's gonna be a. He's gonna be, if, if Sanders he's, stays out for more than five more games, he's gonna be a top fifteen running back. Yeah, you. I forgot which one of you guys said it last week, but you guys said it perfectly. He's this. He's now Frank Gore. He's Frank Gore Jr. and he's only twenty seven. <laughs> yeah, which still blows my mind that he just turned twenty seven. I I was shocked when I read that too. Uh, he stop. has talent. I don't know why he's not on a team. I'm pretty sure he was in the same draft as Zeke, if I remember, because he was like that draft. I remember Jordan Howard outperformed Zeke's rookie year or something stupid like that. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, I'm way. almost positive because his rookie he season was like was 20. Absurd. I don't know. So I, 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 on, no, though. I'm just I'm now I'm <clears> shocked again. <laughs> <laughs> just shocked again. Um, shout out to J- Javante Williams, first hundred yard game, well deserved. Yeah, but the problem is that. Melvin Gordon also had a great game. Mel- Melvin Gordon woke up today. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not to be as yeah. fucked up as that, but no, you know, he's still, on, he's still on the team. This is Degenerates. You woke up today, motherfucker. <laughs> yep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like what Jesse says all the time. Sorry to my enemies. I woke, I woke up, up today. today. <laughs> exactly. That's what Melvin Gordon said to Javante Williams. I'm sorry, guys. I woke up again. Yep. I, I I didn't even think Javante had a good game because I kept getting updates during during the football game we were at that Melvin Gordon was scoring touchdowns. So I'm like, oh man, another it's gonna be Melvin Gordon just stealing stealing more work from other people, but it's still like fifty fifty, and nothing's ever gonna change in this backfield. No. Um. Does anybody have the split between Alberto and everybody else? No, Font didn't play. Alberto yeah, I know. Had Al- four catches, twenty five yards. Thank you. Um, Jerry had what six six catches? Yeah. Six catches for sixty nine. I really thought he had a better day. I I guess he just didn't get they the didn't touchdown. Have to. they yeah, didn't they didn't to. have to, which is a shock. Tim Patrick, Absurd. <clears throat> Eighty five and a touchdown. Yeah, it's weird. Tim Patrick, fucking guy. He's the big team. thing is Cortland Sutton, man. With Judy's there, terrible. Yeah, because Sutton's terrible. not that great. No, I think he's good. I just think he's an afterthought for Teddy. Yeah, I mean. Who do, you, who do you think you is think a better you, talent, though? Wait, you really thought Teddy's going to feature two wide receivers? No, Three I, wide receivers? I, listen, I was he down did last on him. Year. <clears throat> he did last year. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did. That's no, fair, DJ Moore but... wasn't, like, great last year. He was so top they 25. Also, they also were so bad, they and had to throw, throw it as much as they did. But I didn't think he'd support Sutton and Judy. Yeah, well, he's down. He's just going to go back to support Judy. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're going to talk about it. I don't even know his name. What happened to that tight end? That's what it's the first thing catch. I asked. They had four catches, 25 yards. They didn't throw it that much. They were up. They were up. <clears throat> Strange game. You don't Dude. play them this you, week. Before we go any farther, do you think that everything kind of flips back to normal next week? I hope. I really hope I fucking so, hope so. I think I'm My bank account hopes so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to tell me. Uh, for anybody who follows me on Betting Diagonal, that, that college basketball card should have been 10 picks longer. <laughs> But it's not because of the Bills. He has to just wait till the time ends on the end of those games, and then hopefully they pay out. <laughs> yep. I'll add more later. <laughs> Next up, we have probably the most interesting game and teams to talk about this week because, unfortunately, well, fortunate for them, we think OBJ is going to go to these teams. Next up, yep. Seahawks versus Panth- uh, Packers. Yep. We, we have an inside source. Inside source, unfortunately. <laughs> Here we go. I think it's wrong, but. Yeah, I'm just going to get ripped if he doesn't go to We have uh, an inside anonymous source. We'll just, you know, what are we going to call him? We'll call him, we'll call him Joe Blue. Joe Blue. We'll call him Joe Blue yeah. today. Uh, he mm. says that OBJ is going to be a Packer. Yeah. Yeah. I also heard he's going to play quarterback. <laughs> that's that's what yeah, Joe Blue that told That last me. part is not true. You should have just switched the letters, like. Go, go blue. Gr- June, I don't know. Whatever. Go. go. He's so fucking. <laughs> you switch dumb. the J and the G. It still says green. J R E E N. Gene. Green? I mean, I can't. I I can't pronounce regular English. Well, go understand. green. Yeah. Whatever. He's gonna go to one of these two teams. I bet though. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, where else would he go? <clears throat> the Chiefs. But I don't think they he'll just... go there. I, I Josh think Gordon. the Saints, but that was before Jameis tore his ACL. Yeah, I think it would have been maybe the Saints if if he didn't tear his ACL. Yeah. I think he would have went there. I think that I think Packers look like a better situation for them. I think because Se- Seahawks have to win out to beat the playoffs. Packers don't. 
But you, for, you also have to think Odell's thinking about his career, right? Like, if he doesn't play well wherever he goes next, he's really fucked because he's like, the last three years have been terrible. He figures what better place to go than play with Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson. Yep. Yeah. And why not? Why would you go to Seahawks when there's already two right receivers? I don't know. He has some tie there, though. He must have. Oh, good, he Russell must be Wilson. good friends. Yeah, he must be good friends with Russell Wilson. I highly doubt he's friends with Russell Wilson. <laughs> no, I, he, they're just completely be. different Fa- Famous people. wife. They all hang out together. And and he's probably not vaccinated. That's why he wants to go to the Packers. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> what do you think fantasy-wise? Say he goes to one of these two teams. We're just speculating yes. all this. What do you expect from him the rest of the season? Uh, if he's a Seahawk, he's not ownable. No, I, I can't. He's, he's ownable. not ownable. He's ownable. He's not Seahawks. ownable. Just like... Who, he instantly replaces Lockett. Are you crazy? Lockett's getting pushed out. Are you... <clears throat> you're crazy, right? No. Is he crazy? Because he's a he's a let's go over, he's let's a go over taller it. Taller version of Lockett. Tyler Lockett has the chemistry with Russell Wilson for like what five six years now. I'm just telling you. Before DK was there. I hope he goes there so I can just win it. <laughs> just win it. Win just what? Win it. Just, just win, win this yeah. conversation. Just like jo- Josh Gordon is gonna take ha- take it and who no, are, I never. Who else you, is coming? Josh who, Gordon's fucking thirty five. Who else has come to town and left already? There's been people. Tyler Lockett stays consistent. Well, not consistent as a fancy player, but he, <laughs> yeah. he's always there. He's a player, he's there. Oh, okay, what's your stance on the Packers then? Hey, at least he's got a chance to get some get some yards because nobody else can catch the ball besides Devontae Adams on that team. I think uh, Packers' opportunity is greater than Seahawks, but yeah. I think they're both great opportunities. I think one's a great opportunity. The other team's trying to run the ball with two top 15 wide receivers on their team. Let's say We have this conversation every year about the Seahawks. Hmm. Can, how many people can, <coughs> can let Russ, Russ cook? Let Russ cook, but Pete Carroll never lets him cook. That's why he'll never win a championship again. He's gonna have to. What win a oh, championship? OBJ, He's never going to. If OBJ, <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Legion Boom's gone. The both teams desperately need OBJ. Like Seahawks desperately need a third weapon. The Packers desperately need a second wide receiver, especially after Tanya went down. Packers make sense. I don't know what his Joe, fantasy value is. Joe, like, it's a complete fucking mystery. Like seriously, no. I think I think I think if he goes to Packers, he's top twenty wide right receiver. Whoa! See, rest of season, rest of season, rest of season. He's yeah, not, he's yeah. Not, and I not I know not for season. I don't, know, like, I don't think he's gonna catch up to top twenty. No, yeah, like no. similar to how like um, <clears throat> Antonio Antonio uh, Brown, Brown was last yeah. year. Like he came in instant. Yeah. Damn. Oh. That's high. That's that's Can high. He play in that I, negative he, twenty degree good. weather. No matter what, he's good for six catches, six yards every game. I'm Just worried. Talking. I'm worried about his shoulder injuries. I think that's. I think that's just. Uh, I'm worried about him just being OBJ. Let's be <laughs> real. Just him, like. What? Yeah, he could be playing with a great quarterback, but doesn't mean he's gonna get along with him. Just he's just assuming. Oh, I'm gonna play. Go play with Aaron Rodgers. Now I'm gonna get. 20, 20 targets a game. No. Mm-hmm. You stink. I think she, he gets 10 targets a game with Dan Rodgers. Uh, <laughs> can we talk about how they can't run the ball no more? Who, the Seahawks? Jones. Garbage. Oh, they like A.J. Dillon. They love Finally. A.J. Dillon. Finally. Finally is right. I was a big Dillon guy going into the year. They finally use him. Yeah. But Jones, why pay him? That's what I said. I can't figure it out because Dylan was a clear, easy replacement, and he was cheaper. But I guess they didn't want to lose Williams and Aaron Jones, so like, all right. So we'll you just signed pay. Williams to the one one year deal for six k. Yeah, six, but they're going mil. for a Super Bowl, for, so for them it makes more sense to take the better talent. They could just move on from. They could honestly move on from Jones after this year. It's only a three year deal, if I remember right. Yeah. So they could trade him or just cut him. I'm sure it's not that much guaranteed money. But it's still a waste. It is, but they were yeah. going for a Super Bowl this year. Let's be honest. Aaron Rodgers probably out. Anyway, they figure, fuck, we'll just go all in. And then if it doesn't work, we'll go to Jordan Love. And, well, that doesn't look that so will, great. Uh, yeah, they look really <laughs> – he looked real bad. Yeah, Jordan Love. <clears throat> Sorry, buddy. You're a bust. Just tell you now. <laughs> just tell you, tell you while, before it's too late. Uh, I have nothing else. Nothing right. else. Like, as far yeah. as like, the actual game, I think – there's a lot of unknowns because we still don't know if Aaron Rodgers is going to play. We, we don't still know if Wilson is going to play. Yeah, Rod- still Rodgers said there's a very small chance he doesn't play. And also, I don't think OBJ uh, thing will be solved this week. 
uh, Aaron Rodgers is a known liar and a cheat. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I we talked about at the top of the show. I'm surprised the league doesn't punish him. They might. No, because they were in cahoots with this whole thing. They knew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. they yeah they they said they did, but now they're investigating. Yes, because they no. got caught. The team they knew. Got, yeah, the no, team but knew. The league knew too. They had to. They have to tell the league who's not vaccinated. The league knew he wasn't following protocols, but the league didn't want to make a big deal about it. The Packers didn't want to make a deal about it. And then finally got found out. And now they're yeah. like, oh fuck, we got to investigate this. Well, now, superstar <laughs> treatment. Yeah, but now what happens if he has to get if if they uh, suspend him for a couple? He's games? not gonna get suspended. They they'll, they'll find him. They're then he'll appeal him. it and try to sue the NFL, and it's to be a whole big thing. And it, they were all in cahoots. They're all they're all equally. In the wrong collusion. Place. I, would, I collusion. wouldn't be shocked. Seriously, collusion. Next year, maybe he has a, like a two two game suspension next year or something. No, he's I going don't to think retire so. after this year. He's done. What do you mean? He needs to go to whatever team he wants. <laughs> he's gonna retire. I don't know. He's done, uh, he's done with the NFL. He's done with it. He's done with it. He's done with it. He's gonna go do Jeopardy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> if telling they you. even let him do it after this. Yeah, I'll walk. He's a no, cheat. He's not vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. You have to be. There's a lot of old people that go to those shows. Yeah. Chiefs versus Raiders. Another the other two teams that would possibly have a chance to get uh, OBJ, Chiefs being one of them. Raiders a very 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 slim chance. They're not getting the, them. They're not after getting them. them, they can't <clears throat> handle any more bad press. <laughs> they really can't. <laughs> That's why I would love it there. Yeah, I feel like he'd be a great fit. <laughs> he would, but uh, I think it's a little. They went through. They've had five seasons worth of controversy in in a month. Yeah, like I agree. You that. probably shouldn't. As a, as I mean, a you guys, fan, but... you guys signed Moss one year, so they traded for him. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what happened to the Raiders last week, huh? Not good, guys. Yeah, but this is this is what exactly what I said on here about Rugs, right? His impact was far greater than, than, his, than stats. his stats. I, I said and that too. You saw when Brian Edwards had to be the guy. He's clearly not good enough to be the guy. And then they you also told me enough. I should start Brian Edwards. No, I said you told me to start Brian Edwards. I, I picked him up Brian and Edwards. I started him I and I lost. I, won lead. I told but people it was worth it. to wait and see what he does because I didn't think he was going to be. It was worth this. the yeah, the sure. off camera. You didn't tell me that. I said you can rewatch the tape. I said I didn't think he was worth thinking of. I'll, I'll, I'll just call you get, out. I'll, I'll the get the receipts. I'll get the receipts from the text messages from the group chat. I, That's I what we'll do. Uh, check that. Shout out to myself messages that for saying uh, Zay Jones was a better option than <laughs> for what one catch for one, twenty yards. I mean, he was what the second best receiver on the on the field that day. No, got third best. Down third by best. Waller and Renfro. Baby. Yeah, well, well Wall's a tight end. All right, Renfro. Renfro. It's a Renfro show now. A, they, considering they have three active wide receivers on the team, so yeah, one, yeah, two, because three. Brian Edwards is not active. I'm surprised they didn't go double tight end with Monroe. I couldn't they believe did. that. They did a little bit yeah, towards the end of the game. But, but I was shocked, like you said, they didn't go double tight end. Like, Monroe's better receiver than Monroe is a third-round pick. His upside. If Monroe's on, like, on a team that isn't, like, on the Jaguars, he'd probably be a top eight tight end. Yeah, I he, he's highly a highly agree with that. He's yes. a very solid. Uh, I just had to pit the Jad, yeah, yeah. Jads because no, they but don't. it's like a good yeah good comparison because a lot of times a bad. If he team. was on, if he was on Vikings top eight tight end, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I don't know why they didn't do it, but I I thought he actually was a decent stream play this week. I didn't say it because I didn't know what they'd do, and yeah. he, thankfully I didn't say it because he had zero points. So. And then uh, your your coach now is <laughs> an old fashioned coach. Stinks. I yeah. don't know. Run the ball, double tight end, and see what happens in the in the passing down. I would watch for Monroe. I'd have a watch on him to see what he does. I mean, now he's on Deshaun Jackson, which we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, you're just gonna run straight. Yeah, well, straight. yeah, he's definitely gonna run, run fast, straight. boy. <laughs> How, fast, okay, boy. so we did the waiver video that you talked about Deshaun. Uh, what is realistic? Could you really think you're starting Deshaun Jackson? Fuck no. In plus play only. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I, I, it's not this game. He's out game. of his mind. I would never <laughs> pick the, him Chiefs? up. Chiefs. Chiefs. I guess it's impossible against the Chiefs, but what's the you rest gotta, of the no. You got to be so desperate to start Deshaun Jackson this week. Well, I started so Brian desperate. Edwards last week, so uh, I mean, dude, that I mean, there's four teams on bye. That's not I a guess, lot. I guess you could be that desperate. You, you, you don't know how you could have. I will say this is his former coach he's going against, so maybe Deshaun Jackson has a. I don't know. Yeah, he's just gonna tell. I mean, Andy Reid's just gonna tell whoever's gonna cover him. Just take like twenty steps back. He's just gonna run <laughs> yeah, straight. Yeah, like just... he doesn't. He, he never bothered to learn a playbook the entire time he's been in the NFL. He just runs one route. He's straight. Ugh. I just want to say, if you pick up Deshaun Jackson, okay, you have one of the best five game matchups possible. 
Kansas City, Cincy, Dallas, Washington, back to Kansas City. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great idea. <laughs> it's great in theory. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm just so happy now, like a couple days, a couple weeks ago, you guys were like, oh, Cowboys kind of getting tough. Huh? Eat a dick. <laughs> Eat, <laughs> Eat, a dick. Eat a dick. <laughs> Eat a dick. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, now the Cowboys are a great matchup. Okay. You a dick. I, you a dick. I, wasn't, agree- I wasn't against you. Then. Smoking dick. Smoking dicks <laughs> out here, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm just watching different football. I don't know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Chiefs looking horrible. Where are they going to get it together? They're not. They're no. not. They can't run the ball. Listen, nine weeks into the season, this is who you are. Like, you are who you are. This is who you are. <laughs> I pull the mic. This is who you are. You are who you are. I don't even say, is this even a No, it's comment? just like it's just like some shit you would say. Yeah. So no, that's what, what I'm saying. This say. is some shit you would say, but I said it. They are what they are. Oh, they they are what they are. Oh God, you've gotten worse over your years. <laughs> this is what happens kid, after a long tur- weekend. Kid turns third day. Kid, yeah. <laughs> kid third turns, day. Third day. <laughs> third day. I'm done. He turns thirty. I had no idea how to speak. Uh. They're hanging out with just, me too much. Just wait. This, is, this is what every wait Tuesday next does to me. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> my <laughs> comment was, you are who you hang out with. All right? Uh, yeah. that's, that's just... Fucking idiot over here. This is what happens when me and him drink all week. I think. Uh. <laughs> um, so. Mahomes, two touchdowns the last three three games. It's not great. I think. Uh, Remember when, Ty- when Hill was a good pickup? I still <laughs> producing, so what am I going to do? That's up, Bucks versus Washington. Bucks by a million and a half. Tom Brady off a bye against a bad Washington defense. Watch out. Watch out. And you guys said uh, Antonio Brown on crutches, not playing. Yeah, and yeah. He, they don't really say when he's going to come back. He was supposed to be already back, and then he, he's seen in crutches, a walking boot or whatever. I don't have no idea. I don't understand why he's not on IR. Like, why didn't they just put him on IR? Because I think... I think the idea of it is that they just want to trick everybody else. But I don't. He's in a walking boot. He's in a walking. Yeah, I don't think they're That's really tricking anyone. Out. Yeah, I don't know. I guess because they he was questionable, it. and then they're like, "Let's trick these people," and then, then they put him in a walking boot. He hasn't played it's in like, almost. It's almost been a month I since know. he's played. I, I don't think he's gonna be back till like week twelve or thirteen. They, he's. I they don't t- think he's gonna practice. This I week. really don't think they need him. Either, well, I so. think I think the addi- addition of what's his name. Rashad Breland. Breland is or a not key. Breland. Perryman. Perryman is a key. Uh, I know. Key. He's key. Image. Key. Of, he knows the offense already too. Key image. He's there a few years ago. How long Brown's gonna be out? Okay. They didn't need to add another wide receiver. No, they did not. I thought it was gonna be Scotty <clears throat> Miller season. I think I he's hurt too. I think he's. I think he's just not even on the team anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. He's on. Caillou nearly won them the Super Bowl last year. Yeah, he had. He's never made a catch standing <clears> up <throat> though. That's that's his thing. Um, I really like Mike Evans this week. I really do. I think it's going to be a two to three touchdown game for him. Just that that matchup is too juicy. Chris Godwin's gonna have a great week too. So it's it's gonna be one and two, and then. Gronk. That's my question. I don't trust Gronk. I don't. Two to three touchdowns once, this week once, for Gronk. Once Gronk gets hurt, it's like everything's off the table. Yeah. Because then he just becomes glass. It has happened every year. Like, yeah, he was healthy and he looked great. But then he got hurt. And he was out a couple weeks and he came back and got banged up. And he was out. It's back. Happens all the time. Don't trust him. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. <laughs> Which is a very pretty, pretty big guy. Uh, on the Washington side, I guess is McCorn McCorn was banged up. Yes. Is he playing? Anybody yeah. have any idea? Um, check it out. But Antonio Gibson, please fucking do something. Besides that, I got nothing else. I don't know when um, Ryan Fitzpatrick's gonna be back either. He's probably not. Seven targets Fitz. for three catches, twenty three yards. Fitz revenge game. Fitz just comes off, you know, trying to trick the Bucks. Mm. Comes back revenge game. It's got to actually kill him to not play this one. Yeah, but it. I don't think he's gonna be back anytime soon. I don't think he's actually gonna be back this season. That hip injury he had is the same one Tua had. Yeah, but uh, here's the difference. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Tua's a bitch. Yep, I yep. knew that was coming. Yeah, <laughs> he's out until at least week nine after the bye. 
So week 10. This is week 10. Yep. <laughs> uh oh. We have some QB no other controversy. That was 13 days ago. Oh, he's not coming back. Yeah, well, I mean, he could come back. I don't think so. I don't think he will. I think I'm just saying he could. That he could be doing like uh, what Bruce Arians Aaron is doing with Antonio Brown. Just put him in a walking boot. He'll be fine. He's playing this week. <laughs> Enough. I've done that. Else Enough. Game. Rams versus 49ers. Kittle came back to play. Look solid. Look great. Had an awful fumble. Um, but 49ers look like shit last week. Yeah, they couldn't beat a uh, Colt McCoy led uh, Cardinals team. Cardinals. I don't like that. No D hop either. Yeah, that's yeah. really bad. I mean, they single handedly got beat down by James Conner. That was the final nail in Kyle Shanahan's career, I think. Yeah. That one. Yeah, they're just going to go back to that game at the end of the year and, like, how could you lose, this lose one. to James Conner? And only James Conner. It's sad because I like Lynch too, and I think he's going to be gone too. Ooh, that's tough. It might happen. He's gonna. Li- they're both gonna live and die off of this QB. Jimmy. No. Ty- Trey Lance. Yeah. I think I think Lynch will be back. I don't think I don't think Shanahan yeah. will be. Lynch is a Hall of Famer. They'll give him a couple more tries. Um. I also for this one. Listen, if James Conner can have three touchdowns, imagine what uh, Thrill Heiner's can do. It's not this game. Why not this game? Why would they? I, th- I don't know. Run for James a, Conner had three touchdowns. 91 yards. The like Rams six. don't even run the ball. Yeah, they do. They, have a run, they run a West Coast offense. Yeah, but they like to pass the ball. I mean, they do. But yeah, the Cooper Cup and Cooper Cup only. They like the, sure, that's all the person that needs a catch. That's the only person I need to score a touchdown every week. And I don't even own him in fantasy. I don't know. I, I don't hate uh, the take on Darrell Henderson. Thank He's you. He's not going to get three but touchdowns. But from the smarter guy in the room. I bet you he doesn't even get one touchdown. <laughs> oh, man. I, oh, man. That's some crazy. I would love to know the odds on that. What's the odds? I'll, I'll, I'm I'm going to shake that hand. <laughs> I'll give you 20, bu- 20 bucks on it. And I'm going to take that 20 bucks and put whatever the odds are on it <laughs> and put an anytime touchdown on that as well. Oh, and that's just that. the easiest thing. Put it on. That's the easiest thing as well. Why do I hate this? It might not be up yet. It's probably no, it's a Monday night game. There's no shot the prop bets are up. No, it was a sleeper. I was just saying it out loud. Be, no you said I was going to check it. That's what you said. No, I was going to check. Uh, I'm going to check the odds right now. Other stuff. Um, outside of that, you know what you're getting for the Rams. As far as 49ers, who's their running back last week? <laughs> That's fine. If he doesn't play, it's a wash. No, it's not. That's how that works. No, why? We didn't say that. Why, why is that not how that works? If he's injured, he's That's a zero. How it works. And it's zero nuts to his stats. <laughs> Mike's just trying to cheat the system. Okay, Mike. No, I hope uh, you plays. know what? I'll accept that bet with or with him or without him playing. I bet you he still scores a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't play. He still scores a touchdown. That's he has two touchdowns on the year. I'm not worried about it. This is the one. They don't even have it on here. It's it's Tuesday. It's exactly seven days from now. So <clears throat> yeah. They're not going to have it on. Yeah, you're questionable. Right. All right. Continue I had on. enough of uh, Monday Night Football. We're going to talk about our studs and duds, where we were right, where we were wrong. Joe. Joe. <laughs> Joe Blue. Bleep. <laughs> Joe Green, Joe Blue, whatever fuck your name is. Tell us uh, where we were right, where we were wrong. Well, uh, Billy went 2-0-2. Two, oh, and two, Yeah. And then- Mike, you went two, two, and two. The, t- the ties are pretty much players we 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 kind of disagreed on. Um, as in Jerry Judy at thirteen points, not really good, not bad. So that that's where we're at right now. Yeah, Mike, hit us off. He's just shaking the tables. <laughs> Let's start off with my number one stud, because you know what I have to do. Put out pass and baby, bang. He's going to have a huge week going against Cowboys. I love how you say these things. There's just no backing to it. Just, it is backing. <laughs> last week, did you see what he did last week? Yeah, I know. He just You don't even state it. You just go, he's going to have a huge week. <laughs> That's it. You just move on. Just believe in these words that come out of my mouth. <laughs> Next up, Pittman versus the Jags. Jags defense last week was a big, big, big outlier. Bang. Uh, Bang. Number, number three, fire move. Fire in my mouth. Uh, Lions. That's who he's going against. 
I might have to pick. I might play a fire Muth over uh, whatever my other tight end is. What is my other? Tight end? You should every week from here. Hawkinson. So. No crack. No, he's not on crack. I mean, they're both good matchups, but who's going to be better? They're playing each other. I know. The Steelers have a great defense. Hawkinson. I don't play Hawkinson. I like targets more than I like touchdowns. Okay. Your turn. Oh, Sorry. it's my turn? Missy. Excuse me. I am going Kyle Pitts against the Cowboys. Dud. I don't care what anybody, what these two idiots say. You guys, these guys are smoking dicks. They think the Cowboys defense is good. They are not. They're throwing ass. They're throwing ass. <laughs> I'm uh, throwing ass to those. Throwing ass and taking yours. names out here. Um, just love it. Love Kyle Pitts. Love the – this. listen to this whole Zacharias thing that happened last week. It's not going to happen again. Kyle Pitts will be the feature guy again this week. Next up, Mike Evans versus the Washington football team. Two to three touchdowns, you said. Two to three touchdowns, I think. Uh, regardless – Washington's secondary has been yep. bottom three in the league all year, and that's not going to stop coming off a bye with Tom Brady and his 45-year-old arm. He's going to feel better than ever coming out of the bye. Give me Mike Evans. And Deontay Johnson against the Lions. The Lions secondary is dog shit. Is that good enough reason for you? Because Lions secondary is dog shit, or you want me to pull up a stat? No, you're, you're Stat. Good. Yeah. Good. Hit me with a – hit me with your duds, Mike. AP, baby. That's dud are, of a week. Those are my duds of the oh, week. Sorry. You stupid fuck. He doesn't even know his own duds. Oh, so <laughs> where's my duds? Above, below your studs. Oh, I see it. Sorry, I'm gonna sit the three touchdown boy, James Conner, going against the Panthers. Panthers still one of the best rush defenses in the league. You got Michael Carter going against the Bills. You already know the Bills defense looks great all year round. And then last but not least. I've got a question. I'm going to say Kyle Pitts again. I've got a question. What? Didn't you pick Kyle Pitts last week? Yeah, I thought we were That's doing against this. the fucking rules, Mike. This you can't rule. do that, you stupid little bitch. I thought we were doing this rule. Or <laughs> you no, fat little bitch. All because of the sake. Your shirt thing. too small, have an ass <laughs> bitch. I, I didn't do it last week. I did that before. Did. No, actually, you did it, Billy. He didn't do it. Yeah, last suck week. my dick, you little bitch. You little <laughs> you fucking chit chit little, little, little You're asshole. just going to pick him every single week, Mike? Is that what you're going to do? You're going to pick him every other week? You're going to pick him every other week? He's dog water. Top six tight ends, not dog water. We have a bet, and he's a dud, okay? So you're just going to go off the bet? Okay. What? It's true. Knowing he, your gambling record, at, I, I'll take I'll take. He's going against go the Cowboys. Parsons is going to smack him in his big fucking head, yeah. and then Diggs is the only one. Parsons is to, straight garbage in coverage. So. And I said smack him. I didn't say cover him. Smack him in his They're big gonna head. They're going to have Parsons on him. And then Diggs is going to lock it up. What more do you want me to say? Maybe say so. Couldn't couldn't really lock up Jerry Judy last week, but what are you gonna do? Uh, Kyle Pitts. Where, where are we at on the duds here? I, I, he's it's a my fucking turn now. cheetah pet over here, okay. looking like this. Fucking <laughs> kid. I'm going cheetah. I'm going Adrian Peterson against the Saints. He's too old. The Saints run defense is way too good. Debo Samuel, I just think it's a tough matchup, and I, I just don't trust anybody go, that's facing off one-on-one -on -one against Jalen Ramsey. And then last, but mo what are you looking up? Chia Pets? Most <laughs> likely. Uh, my last, but definitely not least, DJ Moore. I, and since we can't do this every week, I am telling you now, sit DJ Moore until he shows you he can do something from here on out. I have nothing else. All right, so that does it for that. Um, we can move on to the uh, DM dumpster. You know we're not moving on. Look at him go. It's the Chia Pets. Mike's looking up his favorite one. <laughs> this is my favorite one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's the first one? We thing? had internet. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that ain't him. That's not me. Oh, God. For people listening. Man, I wish my hair would look like that. Yikes. All right, let's move on to this DM dumpster. Let's get this. Let's wrap yeah, this podcast please. You're worth eighteen ninety nine. At least we know you're worth now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. DM dumpster. Is Devontae Freeman worth his start this if, week? If you have the balls. That's all I'm going to say. Week in and week out. Anybody who's a... I, why? I don't, find someone else. <laughs> I, like, I agree with that, kind of. But he is clearly the best-looking back in that yeah. backfield. 
Um, if you have the balls to start him, yeah, that he's gonna put, give you eight points. That's for sure. Start James Conner or Josh Jacobs? This one, Josh Jacobs banged up a little bit. I think he got hurt on the last play of the game. I think he hurt his ankle again. Yeah, he came back in. Pussy and bone. Hurt again. Yeah. Um, I mean the Chiefs. I mean that's a good matchup going against Chiefs. Yeah, I, if he's fully healthy, watch out for the injury report. But I'm gonna go Josh Jacobs. Same. I think it's just a tough matchup against. And for, Connor's um, my dud of the week. I don't. It has nothing to do with him being dud of the week, but yeah. Start Pat Fryermuth or Mark Andrews. This is the dumb idiot. Pat Fryermuth. This guy DM does this question. Tell you that right now. If you want the upside, that's what you're asking for. <laughs> I. Think you want faith. I mean, you you have a. Top. You want you want the touchdown upside. I'm playing Mark Andrews. When's the last time Mark, Mark Andrews, Andrews had a touchdown? Mark Andrews had a 40 point week this year. Like, kind of hard to say he has less. Upside. He already had that upside. He already <laughs> so had it. He's on the, the down. The One and done. Gone. He's on the downswing now. He's on the downswing. Who are the Ravens playing this week? Um, the um, they're playing the Dolphins. Yes. <laughs> they're gonna be up. I'm going Mark Andrews. Okay. That worked out for Dan Arnold, didn't it? Fucking bum. If Rodgers is out, which I don't believe he will be, do I start Kirk Cousins, Tua, or Big Ben? Cousins. What type of question is this? Tua might not play because he's a bitch. Even then, I wouldn't. And why do you have so many fucking options? And why are they all bad? <laughs> That's the only quarterbacks on the way for wire. Jesus. Uh, cousins. 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 Yeah, I, I just go Cousins. He's consistent. and um, Rodgers is going to play, so I don't even know why I'm answering this. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I think he's going to play. Okay, pick three. Mike Williams, Terry, or uh, A.J. Brown. That's oh, I'm sorry. AJ definitely Brown. Mike or Evans. Debo. That's definitely Mike Evans. Mike yeah. Evans, A.J. Brown, Debo. Terry McLaurin's out. Yeah, he's been rough. And should I trade Aaron Jones? For? Question. Oh, geez. I didn't finish that one. For who? He doesn't even know it. Uh, I don't even know. But let's just leave it at should I Possibly. trade Possibly. <laughs> Depends what you're getting. <laughs> I can't look at it. Somebody. Home. You can't it's look it up. There. There's no Wi-Fi down here. Who should um, I trade Aaron Jones? Who should I trade him for? Yeah. Just just throw a name out of the hat. Just throw a name. Pat Bryant. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. There's no context. Should I trade him for what? I, it was a receiver. That's all I know. It was a receiver. <clears throat> it was a receiver. Uh, AJ Brown. No, it was someone worse than that. You must have really somebody worse than that. Then no. Was, You're fucking crazy. It was, not, it was not a great wide receiver. That's all I remember. I don't know. Who are your other running backs? DM that's us. DM that, Mike. He'll tell you. That's the problem with these trades. There's no context. Stop giving us these trade questions. Like, if you took Aaron Jones, you took him in the top two rounds. You took him in the first round, most likely. It's, it's very strange. Like, whenever somebody we know texts me or messages me about a trade, they tell me who they have. And, like, should I make this trade? I have Aaron Jones. I have Adrian Peterson. And I have Mike as my third running back. Stud. Should I trade Aaron Jones? The answer is fucking no, obviously. Well, you trade trade him for another running back at least. Yeah. You don't trade for a wide receiver. Well, we had someone DM us. um, They lost Derrick Henry. Their second running back was Najee Harris. And they are like, should I trade Najee Harris for Corey Davis, uh, James Robinson, and like Adam Thielen. No, you're smoking dick. And I was like, you're crazy. He's like, my wide receivers are terrible. I was like, yeah, but if, you might as well just get a top wide receiver if you're going to trade your top running back. Like, go get Devontae yeah. Adams. You trade a top five running back for mid tier wide receivers and a guy who was, who was hurt. Yeah, I was like, yeah. you're crazy. But he's like, it's the only trade I got. I was like, well, don't do it. That's terrible. <laughs> it's the only trade I got. Doesn't mean it's a good one. No. Uh, I have not. That's, that's all I got. Mike, you got anything for us? Chia. <laughs> Mike says Chia. I say like, follow, subscribe, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Mike's OnlyFans, so check out the Chia Pets. Um Ben's Agnell every Wednesday, Thursday. Every day this week. Fucking basketball's back. Well yeah, well check out the Twitter, it's up every single day. Yeah. Uh, there's picks almost there every day. Morgan's on vacation, but I will be holding it down as long as I do, don't lose every dime I have tonight which it looks like i might be uh like follow subscribe fft underscore podcast betting diagonal we will see you fuckers next week Peace.